Hi, dear traders. Hello and welcome to Insta Forex TV channel. This edition will be presented by us, Ekaterina Stikhina and Tahmina Salomova. You are watching the Currents and Commodity Market Roundup for the latest week. What trends predominate in the Forex market before the weekend? The US dollar hit fresh highs against its rival currencies. And what exactly triggered massive long positions on the greenback? Demand for the US dollar still gains support as investors continue to bet on higher US funds rate later this year. Last Wednesday, Federal Reserve Bank of New York President William Dudley said the US Fed is likely to increase the funds rate this year in case the US economy keeps the current pace of growth. The euro versus American dollar pair opened last week at 1.0972. The pair grew about 1.1020 on Tuesday but closed at 1.0882 on Friday. Thus, the pay tumbled 90 pips for the week. The single European currency weakened amid the comments by ACB President Mario Draghi. He said on Thursday some corrections in the stimulus program could be on agenda at the December policy meeting. These comments followed the ECB decision to maintain the refinancing rate at a record low of 0%. Besides, the deposit rate was kept unchanged at minus 0.4%. The pound sterling surged in the beginning of the last week in light of a big data on consumer inflation and the labor market. The British pound opened at 1.2175 against the US dollar last week. However, it was trading above 1.2300 by Wednesday. Later, the pound lost ground and closed the week at 1.2232, having gained 50 pips. The US dollar plummeted against the Japanese yen on Wednesday. Then the greenback rebounded and closed the week at 103.83, which is roughly the same level of opening on Monday. On Friday, Bank of Japan Governor Haruhiko Kuroda stated the central bank could push back the timing for hitting the target inflation rate. He did not specify how such a delay could affect monetary policy, though he stressed that the bank's bond purchases may slow in the future if 10-year bond yields fall well below its target of around 0%. That's all about the main market moves on Forex. Thank you for the currency market overview, Tahmina. You are welcome, Ekaterina. What sentiment was expressed by commodity investors last week? Oil and gold were trading with the upward trend. What was the reason behind the rally? Oil received a boost amid growing hopes that large oil exporters would agree production cuts. Gold was showing a mixed dynamic last week amid uncertainty about the timing of Federal Reserve's next interest rate hike. On Friday, all futures regained losses close to the week modestly higher despite the stronger US dollar. Oil prices rallied in the light of Russia's energy minister's statements. He confirmed the urgent need for cooperation with the OPEC on a production freeze deal. The Samba brand futures were trading at 51 US dollars 91 cents a barrel on Friday, having shed almost 0.3% for the week. West Texas Intermediate reached $50.98 a barrel, having gained 1% for the trading week. Oil prices dropped after a jump to a one-year high on Wednesday, in response to an unexpected drawdown in the US oil inventories. Besides, gold was trading in a narrow range on Friday, having closed the week flat on the back of the stronger US dollar. New York traded gold futures for November delivery closed at 1,267 US dollars 5 cents a 3 ounce, to tally a gain of about 1% for the week. Gold is showing resilience amid expectations for a seasonal increase in demand for the precious metal from India in the run up of the holiday, which starts in late October. India and China are top gold consumers. Ekaterina, thank you for your comments on the commodity market. You're welcome, Tahmina. You have watched the weekly update on the current and commodity market on InstaForex TV channel. It was been presented by us, Tahmina Salomova. And Ekaterina Stikhina. Good luck and see you later. Bye.